Hallelujah. We praise the living God for a special day like this. You know, the Bible says that the path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn shining ever brighter to the full light of day. That is the path of the righteous. And as we are in the month of divine progress, I believe that we are ready to advance. We are ready to increase. We are ready to, to, to be profiting to each and everyone and to everyone we come into contact with. We are ready to break forth. We thank the Lord for a wonderful day and a wonderful month like this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My name is Magdodu, President of Voice of Dominion Outreach. Thank you for tuning in to Dominion Outreach TV. You can subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. You can share it with your friends. You can like the content and you can press the bell button for future notification. May God richly bless you for doing that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a glorious day like this, for a bright day like this. We thank you that our paths are going to shine brighter and brighter every day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Last week, we spoke and we started the session, Divine Progress. That divinely we are progressing, we are breaking camp, and we are advancing. Because the Bible said in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1, that the Spirit of the Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom to the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. And we spoke a lot about preaching the good news to the poor. That poverty is not our portion and we are liberated from poverty because it is a good news unto us. And like Jesus also said in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, when he was in the synagogue and he read, he took this scroll of Isaiah and he said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon him and he has been anointed. Beloved, you have been anointed. For the Bible said, and some Psalm and David said in Psalm 23, and he said that he has anointed my head with oil and my cup overflows. That means when the anointing of the Lord is upon you, your cup overflows. So if you are in the month of divine progress, I am telling you that your cup will overflow because he has anointed you and he has anointed me also to preach the good news unto you. And I want to assure you that poverty will never be your portion. Lack of money will never be your portion. And I promise you, lack of knowledge will not be your portion. I promise you, lack of resources will never be your portion because he has anointed you. He has anointed your head with oil and your cup will overflow. For every Everything that you do, there shall be an overflow in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We prayed about stagnation, that we will never be stagnant in everything that we do this year, this month. You will never be stagnant in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He has anointed me to bind the brokenhearted. Other verses will say that we heal the brokenhearted. So if your heart has been broken, I want to assure you that your heart will be healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. When we talk about broken heart, we are talking about the problem that happens when psychological distress triggers sudden weakness of the heart muscles. So when you start experiencing trauma, when you start experiencing distress, when you start experiencing emotional stress, when you start experiencing uh, things that you are not supposed to experience, we say that you are broken hearted. Some people become broken hearted when they don't have money. Some people become broken hearted when they are jilted in their relationship. Some people become broken hearted when they have longed so much for something and they are not having it. They believe that they were supposed to have it. They were supposed to have this car. They were supposed to have this marriage. They were supposed to have this relationship. They were supposed to, 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 to get to this particular place and they have not gotten to that particular level, they feel broken hearted. But I want to assure you, the Bible says that I have been anointed to bind the broken hearted. So your heart that is broken from this day, it is being healed in the name of the Lord Jesus because we are in the month of divine progress. I want you to repeat this confession with me. 
Because we are in the month of divine progress. I want you to repeat this confession with me. Today we want to do this confession. First of all, you say this. I pray that I will prevail over every stagnation in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare total progress in every area of my life. Today, I declare total advancement against every roadblock of my destiny. I declare progress begin to accelerate in my life. I want you to repeat after me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare total victory over every enemy of my breakthrough. Today I declare the power of the Holy Spirit will cause my progress to become unstoppable in the name of the Lord Jesus. So from this day, my beloved sister, my brother, my brethren, your progress will never be, will never be stopped. Because you have declared that your progress is unstoppable. Because you have declared, declared that every stagnation in your life has been taken away. Because you have declared that uh, there is going to be a total progress in every area of your life. Because you have declared that there is going to be an advancement uh, in every roadblock road of your destiny. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Bible said the other day in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7, and it was in the time of Moses when they have, they, they have camped in Horeb and the message of the Lord or the, 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 the word of the Lord came to Moses and to the people. In Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7 and I want to read it. If you have your Bibles with you, I want you to open to Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 7. And I read from the New International Version. Break camp and advance. Into the hill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighboring peoples in Arabah, in the mountains, in the western foothills, in Negev, and along the coast, to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the Euphrates. See, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their de descendants after them. The Bible said, break camp and advance. We are in the month of divine progress. Break camp and advance. Do not look at the circumstances around you. Do not stay at one place for so long. Break camp and advance. Break camp and advance. Do not be stagnant at one point. Break camp and advance. The Bible said the other day that when the, when the Israelites led by Moses, when they go to the Red Sea, when they look behind them, they could see that the Egyptians are coming with their horses. When they look at their left side, their right side, they could see mountainous areas. They are mountains. They cannot run away. They don't have anywhere to go. But God told Moses that, you know what? Advance. Move forward. Do not go back. Do not move anywhere. Move forward. They were looking at the Red Sea and it looks like terror has gone and God their hearts because they have they are only seeing the sea they they, they, they they don't know whatever way they can go but the bible said that whenever when when they move forward uh, the red sea was parted into two and there was a dry land that they had to move through and the bible said that they were able to move through to the other side of the sea but when the egyptians were trying to cross uh, through that dry land uh, the bible said that the red sea they came back together and it killed all the egyptians and their horses. I want to assure you that beloved, move forward, break camp and advance. I want to assure you, move forward, advance, increase. Do not look back. Do not look at the circumstances around you because it is the month of progress. You need to advance. You are not 
born to be stagnant at one place. Uh, you are not like that, that tree uh, that, 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 that does not grow. But if you are a tree planted by the riverside, uh, the Bible said that your leaves shall be like green. Uh, you shall grow in season. Uh, you shall grow even on out of season. Uh, you shall grow because uh, you are a child of God and you are progressing. Uh, and the word of God is in you. And if the word of God is in you and it has become flesh, uh, but the Bible says in First John, uh, the Bible says in John 1, 1, uh, he says that what? He says that in the beginning was the word, uh, and the word was with God, uh, and the word was God, and it says that, uh, and the word became flesh. Uh, I want to assure you that the word can become flesh in your life. Uh, if you hold on to the word of God, uh, it shall become flesh in you. It shall become flesh. It shall become tangible in everything that you do. Because if the word of God is assuring you that move forward, uh, that break up and advance, uh, that do not stay at one place, uh, move forward, uh, I want to assure you that be Beloved, beloved, it is the month of divine progress. So you need to progress. Uh, you need to advance. Uh, you are. You will never be mediocre in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, in this month, uh, you will not live a life of mediocrity in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. From this day, uh, your heart will never be broken uh, because you have longed for something and you are not getting it. Uh, your heart will never be broken uh, because the Lord is your strength. Uh, because the favor of God will find you in this month of divine progress in the mighty the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible showed the other day uh, that Joseph found favor in the sight of God uh, and in the sight of men. Uh, even Jesus uh, found favor in the sight of his father and in the sight of men. Uh, so wherever he went, uh, uh, favor followed him. Uh, wherever Joseph went, uh, favor, followed, favor followed him. Uh, even in the house of Potiphar uh, as a slave, uh, as a servant, uh, he was being given uh, and he was being led in charge. Uh, he, was, he was in charge of the things of Potiphar because of the favor of God. So when the favor of God is upon you, you will divinely progress when circumstances are tough. But because the favor of God is upon you, you will never be hurt. That circumstances will not cripple you because you will advance because of the favor of God. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Beloved, we are praying. As we have declared... Now we are praying only one prayer topic. That in the name of Jesus Christ, we are declaring total victory over every enemy of your breakthrough. So we are praying any enemy of your breakthrough, we command you to take your hands off my breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any enemy of my pro progress, May it be thwarted in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, any enemy of my progress from this day, uh, I pray that may that enemy, oh God, be, be taken away in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any enemy of progress, uh, I command you, famous in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't have any power over me here because I am a child of God uh, and I carry power, I carry God in me. Uh, I am a God carrier. So you have no way weapon formed against me will ever prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare victory over every enemy of my breakthrough. In the name of the Lord Jesus, from this day my breakthrough is realized. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a breakthrough at my workplace, a breakthrough in my marriage, oh breakthrough in my society, oh breakthrough in every facet of my life, oh any enemy of that breakthrough, I command you, famous in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Thank you for tuning in to Dominion Outreach TV. Thank you so much. May God richly bless you. Every day and every weekend, we are always here to pray together. You can so you can go to our Facebook page, Voice of Dominion. You can like it. Every weekday, which is Mondays to Friday, there's always devotional messages there. That you can do, do devotions with us. You can also share it with your friends and let us always pray together. I love you and I know you love me too. We are in the month of divine progress. May you break up and advance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See you next week. Bye bye.